little peculiar, a little peculiar. But this would leave Eddie and Augusta living together, but they wouldn't be living alone for very long because shortly after Henry had died, Augusta would have a fairly severe stroke and that would leave her paralysed. And Eddie would end up devoting the rest, like his life, to looking after her. But on December, on December 29th in 1945, she would ultimately die. She'd had a number of strokes during the time that Eddie was looking after her. And there's a quote from a book about Eddie in particular that I found really quite disturbing. He lost his only friend and he was all alone in this world. And she was his one true love. He'd spent 39 years under the same roof as his mum, served at every one of her whims, and then she's gone. (laughs) Augusta had spent so many of her years with her fanatic beliefs about sex and women and lust and teachings of the Bible to both of her boys that Eddie would pass into adulthood without any female companionship other than his mum. 